They don't talk to you, but they sure as heck talk about you. And I say, let's give them something to talk about. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. How many times have you heard something about yourself said from an individual that you haven't talked to in maybe weeks, years, months, but yet this person knows all of the intricate details of your life? If you want to say you know that you are that girl, as they say, the more people follow your comings and goings, but don't talk directly to you, that shows that you're a bad girl, okay? And I hate that I'm talking that way, but I have to say it that way because you have to understand. When people are threatened by you, they don't want to speak directly to you about what you're doing, or they don't want to ask you about those different things. They just observe you from afar. And while you might not think of yourself that way, you might not think that you are, you know, doing anything special. You might not think that you are, quote, that girl. You might just look at yourself as in, you know, I'm trying some new things. I'm trying to be better in life. I'm trying to, you know, accomplish some stuff. You know, I'm taking a risk. I'm stepping out on faith. It's just me. When you think of yourself that way, there are some other people looking at you as if you are the top tier. Like you are like that girl, like you're the alpha female, like you're the boss girl. And while I don't like the term being a boss girl or alpha female, sometimes your perception of you is different than that of other people. You might perceive yourself as being lower, but in your, the eyes of other people, you're like that girl. And that's why I tell women, and I like to encourage women to never sleep on their gifts. Never look at your gifts and your talents and your skills as if they are nothing. Because God can very well use those gifts, talents, and skills to make an impact in the world and in the lives of other people. And you have some people who are really waiting on you to step into your gifting and to do the things that you are supposed to do. And whether you want to receive it or not, a lot of times you are inspiration for a lot of people, even those people who you might think are better than you. You see, a lot of the times that we may look at the people who we perceive as being better than us, they themselves feel insecure in different areas of life. And the things they see you doing actually can do one or two things. It can encourage them to do better and to do the thing that you're doing, or it can sour their, themselves and cause them to begin to hate on you and be jealous of you and develop a bitter spirit. See, some of us have such a low um, way of looking at ourselves. Our confidence is a little bit too low. And I say that because I used to be that way. I used to think, you know, people would compliment me all the time on, you know, the way I do hair and the way I used to, you know, my eyebrows. My friends constantly, you know, compliment me on how you do your eyebrows and, you know, the way I speak. I mean, even at my job, every job I've been in, they'll say, you know, she does this, but she's also a therapist too. She's also a coach. She's not supposed to do that, but that's what she does. A lot of the people, and I'm not saying this to brag or boast, I'm saying this to say that for years... I really just slept on a lot of the gifts that I had. I just looked at it as in, it's no big deal. But those things that you think are not a big deal, some other people are jealous of those things. Some people wish they had the gift that you have. Some people wish that they had the boldness and the faith and the confidence that you have to do what it is that you're doing. And when you have people who are coming from that place of wishing that they had what you had, but it's not from a place of admiration, it's a place of jealousy or maliciousness, they will just watch you from afar, see how you move, see what you're doing, try to copy what you're doing, or either try to talk bad about you in the eyes of other people to try to sour their perception of you. And this is one thing you have to get accustomed to as a woman when you are just truly beginning to have that, you know what, I'm tired of just getting by. I'm tired of being mediocre. I'm tired of not seeing the big fruit in my life. I'm going to step out on faith and I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to go find out. I'm going to see what will happen if I try this thing. When you begin to live that way, there are going to be some people that's going to look like, how dare you? How dare you try to be a better type of woman? How dare you try not to be mediocre? How dare you not let us 
what we say and the looks we give you and the way we avoid you and the way we reject you and the way we talk down bad about you not stop you from doing what you know to do. There are going to be some people, and I'm, I know you probably saw, saw this before, but there are some people who are bothered because you're not bothered by them. And getting to a place where you're no longer bothered by the reactions, the opinions, and the perceptions that other people have of you, people are not going to like that. And when you get to that point, it's because you have chosen to follow the path that is going to help you to become a better woman, a better person. And when they don't have that control over your mind and your emotions anymore, when they realize that, oh, so our opinion doesn't matter to her anymore. Oh, so the way we look, the way we act, it doesn't matter. No, no. When it doesn't matter to you, people are going to begin to think that you're the villain. And this is another thing that a woman who was leveling up, a woman who was becoming more confident, forgive me, because I don't know if you noticed, but my thoughts run more than what, uh, you know, I'm sorry. As I was saying, my thoughts run faster than what my mouth can say. But when you get to that point where you are that woman, where you just don't care what other people think, they are going to look at you as if you are a villain. And as a woman, as I was saying, you have to be comfortable being the villain in someone else's story. You see, when people can't have control over you, you suddenly become a villain. When they can't have control over your mind, your emotions, when you no longer allow their little negativity to stop you and you begin to little hear little sayings, that's when you know you're doing something right in the world. When people talk about you but not to you anymore, you understand that you are truly an inspiration. See, people who want to be in your life, people who want to see you do well, they're not going to spread things around about you, be it negative or positive, without giving you that encouragement first. They're not going to be talking about you and then acting like they have no idea what you're talking about when you see them in person. Those type of people, you really just have to pray for them and keep your distance because people who will talk about you but not talk to you and just observe you from afar, while it is a compliment, it is an encouragement because you know, you're know you doing something worth talking about, those people even still can be very jealous, be very annoying. And even if they not, might not be jealous, they're annoying as heck to deal with. And I would say, just keep your distance. So as a woman, please understand People who talk about you, but not to you, you're just hearing things about yourself. You have to accept that as the gift that it is, that you are now a woman who was worthy of being talked about, a woman who was worthy of following her comings and goings because you're doing something that's worthwhile. Don't fight against it. Embrace it. Acknowledge it. But watch them people carefully when you're in their presence, all right? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.